Welcome to your Sunday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. If you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave and all things straight razor related, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. My one word is heart and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with a straight razor, you're gonna get a better shave. In this shave, I am using my Wade & Butcher for Gentleman Juice. 15 16 blade, Barber's Notch, that is a smiling blade. And this is out of the mid-1800s. Just marvelous, really is. For my soap tonight, here we go, Stubble Trouble. And this is yard work. So have you ever mowed the yard and then had that scent of fresh mowed grass well that's what this is like and it is marvelous it's one of my favorite scents as a matter of fact so i have had that blooming we're going to pour that bloom water off and i'm going to put that on as pre-shave yep and i did just get out of the shower as well Mmm, marvelous. Really is good. I really enjoy that scent of fresh cut grass. And this is just nailed it. Really did. Now, here we go. Get those hands halfway dry. And for my brush tonight, here we go. We're going with the King Brush. Oh, yeah. This is the Adventures in Wet Shaving King Brush. That is a 24 millimeter bore knot and it is a premium bore knot. This is a fantastic brush. Let's go ahead and get that loaded up. Yep, oh yeah. And we made it to the weekend. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you are in high spirits, the world's treating you good and you're getting some good shaves, yep. And hopefully you're being able to relax and be with family and friends, yep. And I really appreciate you being here for the shave as well. And thank you so much for all the comments. I really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you are getting some good shaves, yeah. So here the weather has been hot but we got a little respite of a couple of days down a little bit a little bit with the temperature so that was good yep and i'm gonna say i think we're there oh yeah hear that oh yeah we are i'm gonna say we're there definitely now just gonna get around the outside which is not very much and then clean up around the inside as well just like that there we go we're going to put some of that on the brush the rest of that is going on the face yeah and why we do this is because the potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide those things really break down the oil in your beard and that helps you get a better shave. Yes, it does. There we go. Nice. Now, get those hands dried off and let's get our lather on. Look at that. Isn't that marvelous? Yeah, this is a fantastic brush. Yeah, King Brush can make you anything you want with uh, any type of knot, any style, any color. So, look down in the description for their email, and that's how you can contact them. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go ahead and get that kicked up a little bit. Now, this is another cold water shave and I was blooming with cold water. The brush was soaking in cold water. 
So it's just totally cold water shave. And so far, so good. I'm really enjoying it and it's really working well. Yeah, especially this time of year. You know, most of the time, like nine months out of the year, it's cold here. But right now it's not. So this is really refreshing. There you go. Very nice. Yep. Yeah, I really wish Stubble Trouble uh, was still making soap because it's marvelous soap and really easy to lather. Now, this is pass one, and for me, primarily, that's going to be with the gray. Let's do this. Yeah, stretching with my off hand, stretching with how I hold my face. Yep. All of that. And where is it? Right there. There it is. There's that mole. Get that one where we know where it is. And that way we won't have a problem. Yeah. Now there was something I forgot to uh, put into the last Straight Razor Edge Friday special. So in pass two, we're going to talk about that as well. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Feeling good. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, this is a marvelous razor, really is. I really enjoy this one. Now I'm putting that, stretching with my off hand, putting that razor flat, raise it a spine width off of my face. And then I've got that 20 to 30 degree shaving angle which is what we're looking for. And I did not show you at the beginning, but this razor is 
pretty much a near wedge or a com it, it's almost a wedge but it's a near wedge and you might be more on that outside 30 degree angle to get a good shave with a near wedge but uh, can definitely be done not a big deal and wedges and near wedges quarter hollows really some of the most comfortable razors i own when shaving comfortable and forgiving as well there we go nice now let's get up here coming in straight and then rotate that blade down looking for that angle looking for that 20 to 30 degrees And the other thing with this razor, it is heavier, and I really like that. I, I like the feel of it in my hand. So that's also a plus as well. So pass one complete, and it feels good. Yes, it does. Nice. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Go ahead, get... Those hands dried off. Now, time for pass two. All right, so what I forgot to, and left out of the last Straight Razor Edge Friday special, there's two schools of thought on doing pass two. You can either go across the grain or you could go against the grain, all right? And I have done both. Now, what I have found for myself, though, is that I can go primarily against the grain on pass two and get a better shave and not have to do a full three passes on the shave. So, if I did a across the grain pass on my cheeks, I would have to do an against the grain pass on my cheeks. But when I do an against the grain for the second pass, then it's perfectly fine and my cheeks are right where they need to be. So keep that in mind. I would suggest try doing both. Try going across the grain and then try going next shave against the grain and see if it works for you because the less irritation you get can get which really means shave less in that particular area the better more comfortable your shave will be There we go. Nice. Yeah, so keep that in mind as you're shaving. Experiment. Experiment. All right. Now, this is pass two. And for me, primarily, that's going to be against the grain, except on my neck. On each side, that will be across the grain. So let's do this. There we go. Nice. 
get that blade cleaned off. And I, I didn't really hurt anything right there, but I did run into something when I was mowing the yard. <laughs> so did get a little spot there. but it's not from the razor. And right in here, that smiling blade shines because it can reach in and do a bang up job. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, I hit a stick when I was mowing by some trees. That's where that came from. But, you know, it happens. All right. Now, I will tell you, though, as well, I do enjoy mowing. I, I enjoy mowing the lawn. It For me, it's relaxing. So that's cool. You know, how about you? Do you enjoy mowing the lawn? Let me know. For that matter, give me a thumbs up if you like the scent of fresh cut grass. All right. Now, I switched the handle up so I can do my cheek. Yeah, fresh cut grass is amazing. Fantastic scent, really is. Yeah, I was driving by someone mowing their yard here just the other day, and that's what reminded me about this soap. So I had to do it. Yeah. Yeah, and it was pretty much spot on, the exact same scent as the soap. There we go, nice. Now, we're coming in across the grain on that mustache area. I've found that works the best for me. And I won't do my mustache area against the gray. All right. So uh, let me also encourage you. Maybe you don't need to do it against the grain on your mustache area. Maybe it'll be fine with just across the grain. All right. Here we go. 
pass two complete. Now let's get that rinsed off, see how we did. Oh, okay, cheeks are brilliant right where they are. Excellent. Yep, perfect. Now, go ahead and get that dried off. And it's time for the half pass. Yep, this is my jawline and my neck. And I can do this. This is primarily going to be against the grain on my jawline and my neck. And works really well. And necks can really be a problem as far as uh, trouble spots. So let me encourage you, try, try, try doing this, try doing whatever works for the way your hair grows. Now see, my hair grows mainly like this on each side. So what I'm going to do is primarily going to be against the grain except for right through here and that's actually going to be a with the grain pass a second with the grain so I did with the grain I did against the grain here now I'm going to do another with the grain and it'll be fine I'll get a great shave yep all right let's do this Stretching by holding that ear, then I'll reach down, grab my jawline. Stretch further down. Now, let me encourage you also, don't overstretch though. That will not be good. You just want a nice flat surface to shave. There we go. Nice. Now we're switching hands. We're gonna do this other side. Grab that ear to stretch. Now I'm gonna grab that jawline, stretch further. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Feeling good. Here we go. Another shave in the books. Yep. Now, let's see how we did. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, and neck is brilliant as well. Very nice. Excellent, excellent. That is good. We're still going alum everywhere this is astringent and antiseptic and it will help if you hit a bump or two but in this case today there were really no bumps harmed in the filming of this shave video this other thing was me mowing the grass yep which i did this morning there you go nice now I just pat that dry 
Now, if you can't take alum straight up, go with a cold water rinse and follow that with witch hazel. In my case, I'm going with the Thayer's. This is the lemon witch hazel. This is lemonade for the face. It is marvelous. Now, if you like lemons, this is going to be for you. It is, all right? It is just absolutely fantastic. Wonderful scent. Nice, and I put that everywhere. I do. <laughs> I don't think you can go wrong with that at all. Now, for my aftershave cologne thing, okay? Here we go. Fine, snake bite. And now this is pretty much just alcohol and menthol. Now I'll give you a close up of that and hopefully you'll be able to see it. It is just too funny. The label on this thing is great. So we're gonna get some of that going. And it's a good amount of alcohol and it doesn't have enough menthol in it to make your eyes water, which is nice. It is. Now, we're gonna finish this off with Parasol White. And again, this has got menthol in it, so it's going to be good. And Parasso makes a fine product as well. And their Poche Bombs are really good. Oh, nice, 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 nice. And that's got a refreshing scent to it as well. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to see Barber's Homes, the series. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.